Um, so, Abacha, who's one of the people on the front, uh, one of the nine, and he's he's come up with a statement. Um, he's just taken office or taken physically taken office, and he says this regime will be firm, humane, and decisive. We will not condone nor tolerate any act of indiscipline. Any attempt to test our resolve will be decisively dealt with. And that's what he says to, that's what he says when he annuls the result of the election mm. um, that MK Abiola won. Mm. What that reminded me of was the tweet that Buhari sent out in 20, was it 2021 or 2020? Mm -hmm. I forget. Um, he made a statement that we're going to deal with people in the language that they understand. Mm -hmm. He's threatened the Nigerian people not to make too much noise. That statement was promptly deleted by Twitter. And I just thought maybe that me the significance of that is really key. It means, I mean, you know, Nigerians all knew what it meant, you know, coming from a kind of military leader um, or former military leader. But the fact that an outsider looked at what you said to your countrymen and deemed it unacceptable in a public forum is significant. And probably it would have been the same if Abacha was on Twitter today. Um, what did you think of that? <laughs> well, the reality of governance uh, in Nigeria is that it's a product of, it's governance by arms. It, it is not a democracy that we're running. We've never really operated a democracy. Uh, behind the facade of elections, going back to that letter between Sherwood Smith and Balewa, Balewa, what you really need is control of the weapons, control of the army and control of the police. Mm. That is the basis of governance in Nigeria, where the state, whether in the form of Buhari when he was a out and out military ruler, or now a military ruler just wearing civilian clothes, but the reality is still the same form of governance. It is that uh, the a scenario in which the civilians are completely disempowered. Right. They have no means of defending them, not even bows and arrows, right. um, to defend themselves against the excesses of the state. Before the British colonial experience, we had more ability to protect our rights. It's funny, isn't it, that now in 2022, Nigerians are much more vulnerable to the excessive excesses of power than they were in the sort of 1700s. Because then, even if it's the crudest weapons, even if it's a bow and arrow, you had that to protect You yourself. just pick it up and go. Mm. I, and I remember something you mentioned about the winner takes all kind of mentality in Nigeria. And it reminded me of the first past the post system. Mm -hmm. In the Nigerian case, it means that you have large minorities of people who can just go for years, like, and just slide for years. No representation, no kind of means of, you know, expressing their um, disapproval with the government. And you just have that, like, just for periods of 10, 15 years where people don't feel like they have a voice. Um, that's really difficult. That's yeah. really difficult to fathom. It, it is that the impunity that arises from a monopoly of violence yeah. by the state actors mm -hmm. as against the uh, those who they govern in that makes all the corruption possible, um, all the um, um, all the abuses of civic rights, and makes possible those kind of statements where you are threatening your peoples. Because you're able to do that because you know that you have a monopoly of the weaponry. Right. If you knew, let's, I mean, the, the uh, gun laws in America 
a matter of controversy. But government cannot act with impunity. Right. When they know that the citizens have firearms. Mm. They don't have to be the most sophisticated of firearms. But you you conduct yourself uh, in a, a, with due respect to the fact right. that if you push them too far, they do have a means of... Of responding. Of responding. Right. Uh, and, and so a batch of statements... Buhari's tweets, it's all part of that. It, it's the colonial arrangement right. still continuing. That, that, that's what it feels it, like. Just as the British, when they were there, they had a monopoly of weaponry and such that they could do whatever they liked, uh, take resources without um, a, any sense of accountability. That is just continued. The, the form of it is just changed but the substance remains the same. 